Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to I'm on Scott's Selections here for Sunday, October 16th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. Really not much to go through with the U2 play. We give it a look at play in the NFL, so that game hasn't happened yet. If you want extra play, then check out the video before this one because I have a play for you. But looking at every other play that I had, it was uh, involved the three in college football with the college football show with Steen. And unfortunately for us, those did not go too well. However, we did actually win one, so it could have been worse. Ended up losing with Wisconsin minus seven and minus 115 on DraftKings. They led by seven at the half, and the offense shut down in the second half, and they lost in double overtime. Had Utah State minus 11 and minus 110 on bet MGM. Line jumped up pretty dramatically in that game, but it did not matter as Utah State's starting quarterback for the game, who was faring pretty well early on, suffered a concussion. So similarly to what happened in the NC State game last week, Utah State was using a third or a fourth string quarterback for about two and a half quarters. They still won the game, but the offense wasn't able to do enough in order to win by margin. So picked up a loss there. Bowie did win with Clemson minus three and a half and minus 109 on bet online. That line closed to four and a half or so. Florida State, pretty decent team. Norvell, still not a good coach. And Clemson coach circles around them. So either way, went one and two for negative 1.08 units. Uh, not a great day. Look for a bounce back winning day here on Sunday. And for today's play of the day, going to a player prop in one of the most important games or the most fun game on the card. It's the Bills and Chiefs game taking place at around 4 p.m. Eastern time. And for this matchup, we like a player prop in this one. We like Josh Allen over 298 and a half passing yards at minus 120 on bet MGM. Time recording of 3 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberton's why I like Allen passing yards over into this spot. First reason to go through recent form, Allen has kind of cruised over this number on a regular basis. Allen has recorded at least 308 passing yards in five of his last seven games, including last year's playoff run. Plus, Allen enters this game in phenomenal form as he ended up recording 424 passing yards against the Steelers last week. And a majority of those happened in the first half. I believe Allen had about 350, give or take, in the first half before they ended up calling off the dogs. They were up by so many points. And a big reason why the Steelers were a little bit shorthanded in the secondary. I'll get back to why that's relevant for this matchup. But to go through the two meetings last year, Allen did very well through the air. He recorded at least 315 passing yards in each of the two meetings last season. Kansas City also really good against the run. The Chiefs are allowing just 83.6 rushing yards per game, which ranks third in the league. The problem with that is the fact that Kansas City is awful against the pass. The Chiefs are allowing 255 0.6 passing yards per game, which ranks 24th in the league, which plays right into Buffalo's hands because Buffalo is averaging 324 passing yards per game, which is the most in the league. And Kansas City is also going to be shorthanded in the secondary for this matchup because Fenton is out, who's one of their starting corners. Fenton has played in at least 94% of defensive snaps in each of the last four games, and now he's out. So with Gabe Davis being fully healthy once again, with Diggs being a serious weapon as an elite receiver. Kansas City's secondary was already not very good to begin with, and now it's even worse because Fenton's out. I think Allen is going to absolutely torch this defense, and I think Buffalo is going to do what it always does, which is somewhat abandon the run and really let Allen cook against this underwhelming secondary. We saw Kansas City struggle to guard deep passes against Devontae Adams, for example, on Monday Night Football last week. We saw them struggle against a bunch of teams up to this point against the pass, and Buffalo is the best team in the league at passing. So I think Kansas City should end up struggling, and I think Allen should probably go over 300. The spread is also only two and a half, so the oddsmakers are expecting a pretty close game throughout. So I don't exactly expect Allen to be benched at any point because of a blowout. I think he should end up throwing throughout the entire game, and I think eventually he'll find a way over 298 and a half. So play that once again here for Sunday, October 16th, is going to be on Josh Allen over 298 and a half passing yards at minus 120 on bet MGM. Bye everyone.